China's movie market has seen big changes because more foreign films have been allowed in. The effects in Chinese movies have improved as well, but there's still something lacking there. Nonetheless, movies are doing incredibly well in China. Chinese media release as of March 23rd, box office receipts in mainland China told about 6.3 billion yuan, or about 1 billion U.S. dollars in 2014. This exceeded the total box office receipts in 2009 at about 999 million U.S. dollars. The hot movie market has since attracted many businesses to invest in theaters as well. It seems that investing in movies should be a good business, but the facts might not be so optimistic. As there's a large number of theaters in China, it's not that easy to profit at all. The revenues at theaters mainly rely on advertisements, selling products in theaters, and the incomes of movie tickets. But the rising rent for theaters has become a great financial burden for them. In China, there were over 3,830 theaters as of 2013. Most of them have to pay high rent every year. The theater's annual rent in first-tier cities like Beijing and Shanghai usually range from 1.1 million U.S. dollars to 1.28 million U.S. dollars. Even in China's third-tier cities, it's high. Rent there is still 644,000 U.S. dollars each year. If assuming the theaters and studios split half the box office revenues, then each theater needs to earn at least 3.2 million U.S. dollars each year to pay rent. Chinese media released that in 2013, only 253 cinemas had box office receipts exceeding 3 million U.S. dollars last year. This indicated that only 6% of the 3,831 theaters in 2013 could pay the rent from box office revenues alone. In order to increase profits, a few theaters in China figured out tricks for making money. One trick they used is to swap the name of the movie on the ticket. If a person buys a ticket for Jaws, for example, then the ticket will say Monkey King. The information includes the name of the movie and the ticket price. This way, more money will go to the less popular movie. Chinese media exposed that these theaters and films usually choose popular films for the trick, as it's not easily found by other people. These kinds of tickets are not strange for many Chinese people. Most of the times, the theaters collude with the less popular films to do the trick. By doing this, the theaters can split bigger portions of the box office revenues. Don't go away, because up next to Money Matters, we're talking about movie ticket fraud. Stay tuned.